Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the design systems and specifically answer the question if your client needs a design system or not. Now, when it comes to design systems, uh, I have a quite a bit of experience since uh, I worked on uh, over a dozen design systems. Um, I created them both from scratch uh, and uh, I also hopped uh, on uh, uh, design systems of companies which uh, already had a team of designers which uh, established those. So basically I have uh, quite a bit of experience and by the way, I also created my own uh, um, design system uh, starter kit, which uh, you can find in my store. But uh, that being said, uh, let's talk about, uh, let's start by talking about uh, what a design system is. And uh, there's been given a lot of definitions on uh, the internet. And uh, one of the, the, the ones which uh, I think uh, um, is, the, uh, is one of the best one is uh, from uh, the website called uh, uxdesign.cc. And uh, it says that a design system in the, is the single source of truth uh, which groups all the elements that will allow the teams uh, to design, realize, and develop a product. And uh, I think this is uh, uh, quite a good definition. Practically speaking, when it comes to creating a design system in uh, Sketch, Figma, Adobe XD, or whatnot, uh, um, what, I, what we would usually have uh, is uh, a single source of truth for things like uh, color styles, typography, um, even layout and, uh, you know, symbols and the repeating elements and, you know, all of these things are covered in a design system. And basically a design system allows you to have uh, a single source of truth which uh, is going to enable you to have consistency throughout your project. So practically speaking, if you're working on a web app with uh, 200 screens, uh, chances are there's going to be quite a few repeating elements and there's going to be quite a few repeating colors, things like buttons, input fields, and uh, things of that nature are not going to vary from, uh, are not going to vary much. Uh, so ideally, if you can find a single um, style for the inputs, a single style for the drop downs, a single style for the buttons, that is going to enable you to create a scalable solution, not only for you as a designer, but for the developers. It's definitely going to help you with uh, brand identity and consistency of uh, your web app uh, project or website project or mobile app project or whatnot. You get the point. But um, the question is, uh, do you need a design system? Because the truth is, um, a lot, there's quite a few projects and companies which uh, aren't at the stage where they need a design system yet. Um, however, uh, it's always beneficial to consider having one if you're looking to create a project which is going to last for the long term. So an example of a project which uh, I wouldn't use a design system on uh, is maybe a quick uh, free page website or, you know, three to five page website where there aren't like a lot of uh, um, opportunities or ideas of expansion when it comes to that project. So in a more isolated project, I wouldn't use a design system simply because it would be overkill. However, for uh, a project which uh, I'm looking to develop for the long term that it's going to be uh, that it's going to expand uh, when it comes to you know pages content and things of that nature a design system can definitely be a very good uh, thing to consider and the reason being is that it can save you uh, not only you know you have all the uh, the uh, good points which I mentioned previously but you also have uh, uh, the advantage of uh, editing the design system and uh, create a layer of consistency throughout the project and you know uh, make those edits faster. So one of the, the great things that you can do, for example, in the design systems, in uh, these uh, uh, new design tools, is that you can sync all of these uh, elements and all of these aspects uh, to the actual project. So, for example, if uh, I set the primary color of the design file to red and uh, I have 200 screens uh, with uh, uh, multiple elements that share the primary color of red, there's options where you can actually change it to blue, for example, and uh, it's going to automatically update uh, 
almost immediately to all of those 200 screens without you having to manually go in and uh, change all of those colors individually. Now, this of course uh, is going to take upfront work uh, and you have to uh, set these systems up uh, at the beginning of the project. However, this is, going, this is um, going to enable you to save a lot of time if you're doing a rebranding, for example, or if you're making some bulk changes um, down the line. So this is definitely an option which, uh, you know, it's going to take a, more, a little bit more time up front, but can definitely uh, pay dividends uh, down the line. So the question really is, do you want to make this, uh, this upfront investment for future-proof your design uh, project and make uh, things going uh, faster if needed? Um, the answer is uh, really, you have to decide for that. But uh, nonetheless, design systems are a great asset to have. Uh, and uh, I think that every um, medium to large company should uh, definitely have one. So this is pretty much it. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to leave a like below and uh, feel free also to ask uh, questions when it comes to design systems. Uh, I myself have been a UI UX designer for uh, many, many years. Uh, for the past uh, almost five years, I've been working entirely remotely with companies from all around the world um, of all sizes, from multi-million dollar companies to startups with uh, their first round of fundings. And uh, in my channel, I have uh, a lot of these uh, kind of videos on UI UX design, software tutorials, uh, the business of uh, being a freelancer, a consultant, and much more. So if you're interested in more of this content, feel free to check it out. So this is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.